Nashville nonprofit is finding encouragement after a major setback this month. Yeah, somebody stole the van that actually belongs to Gideon's Army. Our Michael Warwick tells us how they're rebounding now. On this wall right here. The youth leaders at Gideon's Army show us the new paint job going into their new store dedicated to feeding and providing a safe place for North Nashville. This project is where Gideon's Army is finding energy after founder Rashida Fatuga says someone stole their van three weeks ago. We do workforce out of that van. In fact, it had laptops. He basically really dismantled our workforce program. The van was found this month. However, Rashida is working to get it back from the tow yard. She took this picture of its ransacked interior. The laptops, tables, and chairs that were inside are missing. Rashida says they used the van to help young adults find work and take them to and from jobs. That one van already wasn't enough. And now it's just making it harder for us to be able to do the work that we need to do, like picking them up, getting them to work, getting them here, getting them into the community, delivering food boxes. To make matters worse, Rashida tells me they also owe about $1,000 to the tow yard for holding the van after it was found. While Gideon's Army already had to cancel a scheduled field trip because of the theft, they're putting their efforts into their new hub, which the youth leaders are helping renovate. Nothing will stop us. We always find a way. And that's what I love about our youth. These are our youth leaders, and nothing stops them, so I can't let anything stop me. If you'd like to help Gideon's Army recover, we'll have a link to donate on our website. Michael Warwick, WSMV4.